Hi, I am here to talk to you about ways that you can help your child uh, preserve their battery some while they're on their iPads. Um, there's lots of things that you can do. Now we do know that Zoom is a real battery eater, so um, there's little we can do about that, but there are some things you can do, tips and tricks to keep that battery lasting longer. The first thing to do is to make sure that you're using the block that came with your child's iPad, this charging block. It has um, the Apple information under here. It's squarish. Um, you should be using this rather than any other block to charge your child's battery. It'll, it'll, or iPad, it'll just give them a better charge and we find that it just sustains better. It's charging it at the correct voltage. So that's the first thing. Now let's talk about some of the other things we can do. I'm gonna close out the right here and uh, we're going to be looking at the iPad. The first thing to do is to make sure that your child is closing the tabs they have open in Safari. You can see across the top here that I have a number of tabs open. Each one of these tabs um, is taking a little power, a little memory from the iPad. So you're gonna to wanna to have your child close those tabs. There's two ways to do that. One is to click on these two squares that look like two pieces of paper and they can just individually close each tab. Or you can also have them just click and hold down on those two squares and go down to close all tabs and that'll close out all those Safari tabs that are running in the back taking power taking memory I'm gonna close out a Safari the other thing you can do is with your child go into settings and on the left you're gonna want to go and look for Safari so let's find Safari over here on the left there it is click on Safari and then you want to, on the right, go down and under Close Tabs, you want to make sure it's set to After One Day. That way, if you forget to have your child close those Safari tabs, um, it doesn't matter. It's going to close them after a day. So that's another thing you can do to help with that battery. You're also going to want to make sure that your child is closing the apps that they have open. The thing about the iPad is a lot of times when you open an app, it, um, when your child is done with it, what they do to close it is they just hit that home button, right? And um, the app's gone, right? Not running anymore? Wrong. You're going to want to have your child double click that home button, click, click, and you can see all these various things that I've had open, settings that I just opened a minute ago, the camera I had, everything's still open. So you're going to want to have your child make a habit of double clicking and closing out of all those apps that they're not currently using because they're all taking power, they're all taking memory. So all of that can impact that iPad. The last thing I'm gonna show you is screen brightness, which believe it or not can take a huge chunk out of the battery. There's two ways to make sure that the screen brightness isn't all the way up. One is to once again go into that settings app and over on the left, look for display and brightness. And right here is the brightness adjustment. You wanna make sure it's in the center or a little bit lower. You don't want it all the way up on bright because that can really eat the battery up. The other way to change brightness is you can just swipe down from the corner and right here is a brightness adjustment. So you're gonna to wanna to have your child not have it set on fully bright. Hope these things help you. And uh, always, you can con contact your help desk if you're having problems.